next guest is the kind of teacher you always wanted, the kind who cancels class a lot to fly out to California to be on television. He's an elementary school science teacher. He is co-author of the Nick and Tesla books. Please welcome Science Bob Flugfelder. Science Bob, how are you? Thank you for coming. How's life? Yeah. Everything all right? Life Everything good, good with you? The yeah. kids are behaving themselves? They are behaving themselves. We're doing some fun science stuff. Yeah. Innovation. Yeah, well, I, you know, we never got to have fun. My science class was terrible when I was a kid, and the teacher was mean, to be honest Aww. with you, so it's nice to have you here. Well, and I like coming here because there, there's a little bit of a geek factor to you. You're oh, very thank you. Guy. By the way, I like this uh, electrical work that you've done here. I don't know if you can see that, but... Yeah, that is my work, <laughs> not, not your nice. cruise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, so we want to start with some chemistry? If there's a, a fire at the Flugfelder home, we'll it's, know why. It's probably me, yes. yeah. Yeah, let's do some chemistry. All right, so, yeah. uh, so chemistry's great, and um, we've got an interesting reaction here. We've got some chemicals that are spinning. Mm -hmm. And by the way, uh, the, the shoddy uh, wiring is I've actually taken some, uh, some fans and hooked some magnets onto them, and that became my stir. You gotta get some of that rinse stuff for the dishwasher, because you're, um, you've I got know, a lot I of spots, spots on spots this glass. Sorry yes. about that. Yeah. All okay. right, so we're gonna do a little reaction called the briggs rausch reaction, a version of something called the briggs rausch reaction. And it was actually created by some high school science teachers who wanted to get their kids excited about science, and so they came up with an interesting little chemical reaction. Oh, all right. So nice. we have got uh, three sets of chemicals. Uh, one is already in there, and then we're gonna add some more. Okay. And uh, notice they're all colorless, and that's kind of important. Uh, the first one has some sulfuric acid and a couple of other things in it. Oh, yeah, we need the safety up here. So, oh, all right. Well, safety always comes second. That's right. <laughs> All right, and it's not just for show. We actually have some pretty Yes, uh, I'm going to check your duty. prostate also. <laughs> All right, grab uh, one of these that uh, is in front of you, and we're going to pour okay. this whole row, each one, into okay. one container. Any one of them? Uh, not, yeah, into either uh, any one of the tall containers. Okay. Sure. So we I don't know one they, there. Okay. All right. There we go. Now, you notice the nothing's happening. Yeah, whole yeah thing. nothing you is know, happening. Nothing You're is right. Happening. Yes. So the reaction has actually started. We just can't see it yet. Okay. And, um... This is uh, called the clock reaction because a clock reaction is when it is timed and it's also kind of got some interesting uh, chemistry. So that was a little starch solution going. Okay. And now uh, if you uh, grab that uh, little Erlenmeyer flask and we're, you're gonna pour it into that one, I'll pour it into this one. The whole one. thing? Whole thing in there. And we're gonna see, there we get a very nice color change. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Now the great thing about this is if you missed it the first time, it'll show it to you again. Watch this. We get it to clear up. Looks like Barbasol right now. <laughs> what the one. hell is going on here? All right, let's pour the other ones in. Oh, wow. What kind of witchcraft is happening? <laughs> so what I like about this is it not only kind of shows the science, but it's a little bit of science and art because the way these all sort of change. And I've got a little card here, so... Now, we can, can we drink these? Is no, this... that no. would be really bad. Okay. So there you can see. And these will stay blue for 2,000 flushes? <laughs> That's crazy. Isn't that beautiful? And it just keeps changing? Yeah. How long will this go on? I go for about uh, probably four or five minutes. If I were to do this in my pool, would I be able to have oh, the same wouldn't effect? Oh, that be, that'd be amazing. Yes, it would. All right. right. Well, this That'll is how, nice. this is how um, the skinny girl margarita was invented, everybody. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, let's, Very uh, cool. let's try out some physics. They're still going. Physics. Okay, let's do some physics. All right. All right, I'll duck under this wire. Oh, yeah, watch out for the wire. Okay. Eric, you gotta come over here. Okay. Uh, so we don't need these gloves. We're gonna swap these gloves out. All right. For some heavier duty gloves. Those guys are yours. Okay. We're gonna swap out the goggles for some face shields. I wasn't wearing the goggles. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, probably should have right. put those on. Oh, uh, Again, oh, safety well. comes third. Yeah. <laughs> All right, hey, look, look, it's our good friend. Ah, there liquid it is, nitrogen. liquid nitrogen. You are like uh, what Paula Dean is to butter, you are to liquid <laughs> nitrogen. Right. I'm all right with that. All right, so uh, liquid nitrogen is, uh, nitrogen is about 80% of the air that we breathe. So it's a, when you take a deep breath, it's about 80% uh, nitrogen. When we uh, compress that, it becomes a very, very cold liquid. Uh, 321 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. That is cold. That is very, very cold. Uh, one thing you never want to do, with this is because it's constantly expanding is you never want to put it into an enclosed container. Okay. Uh, because it will constantly be expanding, can get dangerous. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. <laughs> uh, so if you would you? be in charge of the liquid nitrogen. Okay. 
All right. Just lift this up. Yeah, and, and it actually expands 700 times its volume when it goes from liquid to a, uh, to a gas. What if I were to drop it? Um, well, it would be cold wherever it fell. Is that enough? Yeah, keep going. We're good. More, more, more. And that should be good. Yeah, right okay. there. A little oh, extra it's coming there. Out. Sorry about that. Oop. <laughs> I'm being attacked on all sides. <laughs> all right, so that you can put down there. Now I've got a special little cap that I'm going to put on here. Okay. And right now we're not actually trapping the liquid nitrogen. There's a little extra in there. Here, if you want to take that and just uh, point it down. There you go. That's good. That's good. Wow. Yeah, isn't that fun? Yeah, that was it? Yeah, that's it. Sorry, we need the rest. Oh. All right, now I'm going to take oh, that. Oh, now. Okay. And I have got a, uh, a little contraption I put together in my shop. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to go in there. That's going to start compressing the gas. Now, come on over here. OK. Because this does not have a way out. Oh, I have to get the cage for it. Hold oh, on. boy. Sorry. You forgot the cage. You forgot the glasses. You forgot the hat. We're going to be killed here. That's an absent-minded professor. OK. All right. Now, this, I'm going to, I got this little cage on here. Right. That goes onto this This is like line a zip here. line. Yes, yeah, like a zip line for a rocket. OK. There we go. Oh, that's called Velcro, right? Yeah. That's another miracle of science. It is. Yeah. All right, hold on. Oh, I got it. Okay, All it's right. about to blow, Bob. No, I, I know. All right, so that you're going to take that. Yeah. That little thing. Uh -huh. So now we're compressing the gas. We're going to release the gas. If all goes well, we're going to create a rocket. We've got Mars over there in the future. Oh, this will be good. We'll kill our bass player. You ready? Yeah. In three, two, one, fire. Uh oh. There it goes. <laughs> Oh, let's look at the instant replay here. Yeah, look at that. We really did do that. That's unbelievable. All right, what's next? What do we got next? Oh, we got, oh, yeah, this is the one I don't want to do, but I, I guess I have to, huh? I'm going to sneak through here. This is, uh, this is where you make me throw up. Uh, well, so, you know, NASA's looking for astronauts. Uh, yeah. we're, we're looking to go to Mars now, and so they're promoting... Are uh, they looking for 48-year-old astronauts? You never know. All right. So there's a whole written test, there's a mental Forget test, it. there's a physical test. Okay. And one of these... Um, the I will fail all of them. That's all right, you can do it. All right. Uh, so they will spin, because if you are on a spacecraft and it starts spinning, uh, in space, things will just keep spinning. Right. So we are going to simulate one of those tests that they give <laughs> astronauts. Okay. And you can try this at home. All That's a need... very fancy way of saying you went to the Home Depot and bought a chair and two leap blowers. Well, yeah. <laughs> But that's how you can do it at home. Yeah, you turn that on, and then you just hold it out. Hold out the, uh, yeah, see? And that's it. I am, uh, if I throw up into this, can I spray it into the audience? <laughs> I am very woozy right now. In fact, maybe we should take a break. What are we gonna do when we come back from the break? Uh, there will be fire. There will be fire when we return. Science Bob is here, we'll be right back. We are back with Science Bob. Flugfelder, Science Bob is a teacher, third and fourth grade yeah. from Massachusetts. And, and uh, you also have written a bunch of books. Yeah, kids' books. We're trying to get them interested in science and in building stuff. We want kids to build stuff again. This is the way to do it. They're called Nick and Tesla books, and yeah. uh, they're for smart kids, not for your stupid kids at home, OK? <laughs> <laughs> All right. No comment. So um, it smells like um, fuel is coming out of yes, this thing. Yes, so yeah. uh, I've been meaning to make one of these uh, devices for a long time. It's called a Rubens tube. And uh, it's basically a steel tube. Is this named after the Rubik's Cube? Is that why it's no, called Rubik's No, Heinrich tube? Rubens. Oh, OK. Yeah. All right. Uh, so the steel tube, I've got a whole bunch of holes drilled in the top. And it's capped at one end. And at the other end is a speaker, which we'll see why in a moment. I'm going to put you in charge of lighting it. If you okay. could just light right there while I turn on the gas, because we have a propane uh, source here. So here we go. We're powering it up there. OK. There we go. Usually when I light the grill, I will burn at least one eyelash off. We'll but, try uh, not to let that happen. OK. So you see these uh, little flames here? Yes. And what we're going to do is we're going to send a sound wave through it. And okay. it's the pressure of the sound wave is going to affect how much gas comes through each one of these little holes. So we actually have a pre-recorded tone. So if we could hear that. And there you're actually seeing the frequency of that tone. Wow. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. So you're actually seeing the frequency. It is. It's like that. Uh, it's like that equalizer thing on iTunes that nobody yeah. ever uses. Yeah. 
So, and I know that you do play some music. Well, kind of. I play the clarinet, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. Um, so what do I do? Just so uh, we've got a microphone set up, and the feed is going to come in here, and you'll get to see your music visualized in fire. OK, so low notes are good for this? Uh, yeah, play a couple of different notes. If I'd had this in high school, I could have gotten someone to have sex with me. You know? <laughs> well, so uh, this is uh, one length, and we wondered, well, what if we kind of bump this up with a couple of different lengths? So come wow. over here. That's a good idea. So here we have six Rubens tubes, and these uh, are, you'll notice, all slightly different uh, lengths, and that tunes them to different frequencies of sound. And uh, we just happen to have a pretty uh, amazing band that can... Uh, this Reuben was definitely a stoner. There's no <laughs> question about it. Uh, so let's see what some uh, other music looks like through uh, some music from uh, Cleveland and Cleetones looks okay. like in Fire. All right. Thank you, Science Bob. Thank you so much. Go look at his stuff at sciencebob.com. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Thanks for watching. It means a lot to me. And if you'd like to take our relationship to the next level, click the subscribe button below. I'll wait for you. <laughs>